Hey there, so I wanted you to check out this tool that we just started using. It's called Chronicle. And uh, as it says, Chronicle is a multi-server task schedule and runner with the front web-based front-end UI. So it can do scheduled, repeating, and then on-demand jobs. Uh, in our use, we're only having it on one server, but you can actually target any number of slave servers, and then you get real-time stats and a live log viewer. Uh, it's nice. It's written in Node.js, and it's MIT licensed. So uh, I like that already. So if you want to install that for yourself, you can follow the instructions here on their site, and they actually have a GitHub repository uh, with full instructions on how to install it. But I thought I'd show you our server and how we're using it for our church production automation. So this is my server here. I actually have it running uh, on a Asus Chromebox that I bought off eBay for about 40 bucks. Uh, so it's a pretty nice little computer. I've, I took Chrome OS off of it and put Linux, Ubuntu Linux on it instead. Uh, and that allows me to run things like this on it. So when you come to the Chronicle homepage on your server, you'll get some basic stats. You can see I've got 35 total events created. Uh, I've been doing a lot of testing today, so there's 24 jobs that ran today, and I have one server. Uh, oh, had a couple failures, but that's just because I've been testing and writing plugins. So let's look at my schedule. So here are some scheduled events, uh, and a lot of these are based around turning things on or off on Sunday mornings. So when I walk in on Sunday morning, I get there uh, around 6 o'clock. I like for everything just to be turned on for me and waiting and I just kind of know everything is good to go. I don't have to spend my time turning equipment on and waiting for it. It's just already on. So I've made a few uh, events here, and I've broken them up in categories like Auditorium 1, Auditorium 2, Automated Video Recording, Campus Speakers, etc. Uh, and this is all available to you in the Chronicle interface as far as the categories that you want to have. Uh, so I've got, for example, here's one that says Auditorium 1 Front Projectors On. And it's an HTTP request, and it's going to run on Sundays at 6 a.m. And so if we peek in at this event, you can see um, that it basically is making a HTTP request to my dashboard production control panel, um, which is listening on port 5400. And this is the GPI that I have attached to a button that if you were to click that button on the panel, it would turn on the projector. And this just executes that remotely. So that's pretty handy that it'll just do that. And all the code to do the projector powering is in that dashboard panel. So I've got similar ones to turn the rear projector on, um, you know, for both auditoriums. Uh, I've made a ROS talk plugin, which allows us to send commands directly to our ROS carbonite switchers. And then this particular one, I call it PSLs, pre-service loop. It's basically the announcement slides uh, that come in on a specific input. And so I'd say, hey, to my switcher at this IP address on this port, and I send a uh, cross route command on MiniMe4 to go to input 11 on the preview bus, and then it runs a, a auto transition to fade to that PSL slide. I could just do a straight cut, but you know, hey, I thought that'd be just a little bit fancier. And again, that runs every Sunday at 6 a.m. And so when I come in, it'll just already be rolling on pre-service slides on the side screen, so I know that that's good to go. Um, here's another one that we have our light boards. We run Jan's Vista, well now it's called Chroma Q Vista, L5 consoles. And we leave the consoles all the time, but we close out the Vista software so that the various fixtures don't stay parked and so that uh, everything gets released as it's, as it's supposed to. Uh, but I wrote a plugin that uses the Vicrio Listener program. And if you're not familiar with that program, it's free. Um, it's actually heavily used in the companion project if you want to send hotkeys remotely from your Stream Deck. Uh, but this is just a plugin that allows us to uh, target a computer by IP address in the default port. And then it just opens this program. It opens up Vista. And then I have another uh, MIDI relay command that runs uh, five minutes after opening the software, just to give it a good five minutes to make sure everything's open, that runs MIDI, sends a command to MIDI relay, which is running on that same computer running Vista, to do an MSC command, and it actually targets Q1 on QList1. And we use a, a rolling 
cue list every week. So I know that my Sunday morning cue list is always going to be cue list one. And I just want to go to the first cue in that list. So ideally, when I come in and I look in an auditorium, everything is on. The projectors are on. I can see slides on the screen. The lights are on, and everything's good to go. And it will do that every Sunday. Uh, I also have one here. This is a copy second service sermon audio. Again, it's a file execute Victor listener command. Uh, but what it does is it runs a Apple script that I've got set up on this computer. And it will copy a certain file uh, from this computer to another computer when I need that file. And so it just kind of does it for me automatically after Sunday so that when I walk in Monday morning, the file is there and I can start editing right away. Um, we have automated video recording. So I've got, uh, I'm always forgetting to start and stop these recorders. And so I've got it set up to automatically start recording at 8.55 for our first service and stop at 10.25 for our second and then do it again for the second service. So I don't have to touch it anymore, just do it for me automatically. Um, and then I don't have to remember. Um, we have a category here for our campus speakers where I can turn them on at a certain time of day and off. Uh, we've temporarily disabled the Spotify controls, but this is just a command uh, that sends uh, HTTP requests to a computer running Spotify. I actually have it running a dashboard panel, which then executes an Apple script. But I could do this with the Vicrio listener program if I want to simplify that. Uh, and that just tells Spotify to start playing on a certain playlist. Um, and so we can have all of that be automated. This last section here in blue is for a specific study that we're doing in the fall. Uh, our auditorium, too, is uh, the closest building to the parking lot. And a lot of the ladies that are coming to the study want to just be able to walk right into a building and use the that facility. And so it's at 6 a.m. on Monday mornings, and I have no desire to come in at 6 a.m. on a Monday morning. Um, it's hard enough to do it on Sunday mornings. Uh, so they want tech support for this. They want to have lights on and microphones on, and they want to videotape the, their session. But it, it's really very simple tech. And so uh, it would be complicated to train someone how to turn everything on in the specific order, but with Chronicle, I can have it do it automatically. So I've got various cues here that will run at different times of the morning to turn on the light board, turn on the lights, point the presets at a certain position, turn on the projectors. It can do video hub routing. And this is done with the plugin that I wrote for Chronicle to do video hub routing. Uh, so it routes the camera to the audio embedder and routes the audio embedder to the, the key pro recorder. Uh, we turn mics on and off on our Avid S6L using a MIDI relay connected to a Raspberry Pi, uh, which then sends MIDI out uh, USB MIDI interface directly to the S6L. And so when it gets this note, it actually triggers an event on the S6L to turn on a mic and bring up the fader. And then when it gets another note, it will turn off the mic and bring the fader back down. And so we've automated that as much as possible so that all we have to do is train a volunteer what to do if something just goes completely wrong and they get feedback or something like that. So I hope this is helpful for you and your uh, church production automation needs. Uh, go check it out. It's chronicle.net. It's free software. And then you can get my plugins over on my GitHub repository, which is github.com slash Joseph D. Adams.